polynomial operations. So with these examples, you are learning how to find area of given figures when you give expressions as their dimensions. And also, it is a good practice for polynomial operations. So here, you need to determine area and perimeter of the following rectangle. We are given the sides of the rectangle as 2x minus 1 whole square and 2x times 3x plus 2. Now, let's first find the perimeter. So perimeter, let's say p, is sum of the sides, right, times 2. So it's 2 times length plus width. Now, length is how much? Length is 2x times 3x plus 2 plus width, which is 2x minus 1 whole square. So that is the perimeter. Let's open the bracket and try to simplify it. So 2x times 3x plus 2. So 2x gets multiplied with both of them. So we get 2x times 3x is 2 times 3 is 6x squared. And when you multiply by 2, 2x, you get 4x. Now on this side, it is 2x minus 1 whole square. So we can expand it using the formula, which is, let me write down the formula here, a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square, right? In case it is positive, then this term is positive. Or you can expand and get the answer, right? Anyway, we'll apply the formula here. So a square is square of 2x, which is 4x square minus 2ab minus 2 times 2x times 1, which is 4x minus 1, 1 square, right? Now we can simplify these terms and get, combine the like terms. 6x squared plus 4x squared is 10x squared. 4x minus 4x is 0, minus 1. And when you open the bracket, you get 20x squared minus 1, right? And units, whatever units it is. So that is the perimeter. To find the area, we need to multiply these two, right? So we get 2x times 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1 whole square. So we need to multiply all these terms to get the area. So as a first step, let's multiply 2x with 3x plus 2 and also that separately. So we get here 2 times 3 is 6x squared plus 4x and here we get We'll expand it as we did here, right? So we can copy this, which is 4x squared minus 4x minus 1. And now we got two terms here and 3. When we do distributive property, we should get 2 times 3, 6 terms. So let's multiply first with 6x squared. 6 times 4 is 24, x to the power of 4. Now minus 6 times 4, 24, x cubed. Now 6x squared with minus 1 gives us minus 6x squared. When you multiply with 4x, you get plus 16x cubed minus 4 times 4 is 16x squared. And 4x with minus 1 gives you minus 4x, right? Now we can combine the like terms. We have 24x to the power of 4. As far as the cubes are concerned, we have 24x cubed and plus 16x cubed. This is with minus sign. So when we combine it, we get 24 with minus plus 16 gives us 8x cubed. The square terms minus 6 and minus 16 gives us minus 6 and 6, 12, 22x squared. And then we have minus 4x. So that is our expression for the area. Correct? So that is how we can write this areas and the units will be unit square. Thank you.